Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacy Flowers and today I'm going to show you guys how to make the perfect spaghetti squash. So if you're interested in that, please keep watching. First things first, you want to take a fork and pierce all sides of the spaghetti squash. This is to prepare to go into the microwave for about three to five minutes. We put it in the microwave just to prepare it and make it a little bit easier to manipulate with the knife. At this point, you're more than welcome to cut the spaghetti squash in half. I prefer my spaghetti squash noodles to be longer, so I like to cut it on the side into smaller circles. About four cuts does a perfect job for me. After you get the spaghetti squash all sliced, you want to take a spoon and just pull out the insides. I'm sure there's something amazing that you can make with the inside, so I'm experimenting now. Stay tuned. After you get all the inside out, you want to be very generous with salt. I choose pink Himalayan salt and putting it around the rim of the spaghetti squash. This is not to season the spaghetti squash. This is to draw out all the moisture of the spaghetti squash prior to baking. It makes the texture phenomenal. I mean, look at all this moisture. Then you want to take your paper towel and just wipe off the excess salt as well as patting it dry from any moisture, transfer it to a baking sheet, and then put it in the oven on a preheated oven of 400 degrees for about 35 to 50 minutes depending on the size of the squash. I like to let my spaghetti squash cool and then transfer it to a mason jar for preservation. I usually keep it for about three days. I don't go over that because I prefer to eat my veggies as fresh as possible but I'm sure it would keep for much longer than that. Then when I'm ready to prepare it I take a large skillet, a little Miss Dash, spicy and regular, a dash of olive oil, and then I toss in my spaghetti squash, just pulling apart the strings. Again, I like them nice and long. Next, I will take a little bit of the Mrs. Dash and the Mrs. Dash spicy salt to taste. I didn't add any salt this time. You to totally can. Um, and then you saute it. The texture is perfect. Some of the noodles will be a little bit crispy, but overall they'll be nice and warm. I put it back in the mason jar because I don't want to do the dishes. And then it's time for Bon Appetit. And it smells amazing. Ugh, this is so good. So this doesn't seem like very much food. And it's not. I normally would put some vegetables with this, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to cook up delicious spaghetti squash. But I love this. It's a light, very filling, pasta-like dish. And I think one of the things that I love about spaghetti squash is that it literally takes the flavor of anything that you prepare it with. And I found that just putting a little bit of Mish's Dash spicy and regular on there is perfect. Sometimes I like to toss it in garlic, but truly it takes the flavor of whatever you prepare it with. The next time, when I cook the rest of this, I'm gonna put a little bit of um, liquid smoke on it to see what kind of flavors I can get out of that. So I do appreciate you for watching and I hope that you've enjoyed learning how to make spaghetti squash. Bye.